Hello everyone, this is a video on how to replace the or upgrade the hard disk in this Lenovo IdeaPad 330. It's an 8th gen Core i5 and its more specific model number is IdeaPad 330 15ICH. Uh, model name is 81FK and um, potentially other useful numbers might be the MTM number uh, which is 81FK0030UK and it was manufactured in 2018. So this has an incredibly slow hard disk in it um, which is why it's taking so long to shut down. Not really much I can do other than wait but actually uh, I should be able to start opening it up because I think it will carry on shutting down if I close the lid. There's almost certainly not much to doing this one. It will be removing all the screws from the underside and removing the underside cover to expose the hard disk and other components within the laptop. So that's every screw that you can see on the underside of the laptop removed. They haven't done an HP and hidden screws underneath the feet, which is a very frustrating thing that HP do these days. Let's see whether the machine has finished shutting down. Which it has. What we now need to do is get a spudger, or I use this quite flexible um, and very thin kind of paint knife which works really well and on this machine we need to go between the palm rest and the underside shell and it's kind of vertical so some machines you go down like that on this one you go in vertically if you've got the machine up towards the camera like I do That's all of the front unclipped. Let's move around to the side. Sides like this with a lot of connectors can be a problem, so uh, always feel free to go to the other side and then come back to this later if you're struggling like I actually am here. Because quite often the metal around the socket prevents you from unpinging the, the cover uh, because they're within the plastic of the casing. And somehow I've managed to miss one of the screws.
put the laptop back down and now we just do the frustrating and uh, require some patience wiggle game of the cover so starting from the side where it's mostly unclipped which is the side that doesn't have the connectors on it I've now got it unclipped up to here and it's just moving progressively along towards where all the connectors are There's the underside of the laptop. And in the laptop we've got, interesting, a traditional hard disk over here. Um, but what's more interesting is an Optane module, which will explain why this machine is so slow, is that Optane generally goes wrong like that and goes so slow like beyond usable um, I think the Optane modules go wrong and um, the like the flash wears out or something and therefore becomes really slow or times out and, and uh, the Optane system tries to keep using the Optane module and during that time it just delays the operating system doing um, certain procedures and stuff so traditional hard disk wireless card, Optane module which complicates things, I'll have to quickly go through that with you um, CPU fan, or possibly GPU fan CPU and GPU will be under here, don't know which one's which uh, RAM is probably under there yes, so I've got soldered on RAM and then also a slot for expanding the RAM or expansion of the RAM if you wanted to put in your own module The battery at the front here, and then the two speakers. Video connector off to the LCD panel, uh, battery connector, and that's about it. I think we've probably got the touchpad connector there, and I'm not sure where the keyboard connector is. Right, so for Optane, we can't, if you're going to install fresh none of this matters because you just take out the Optane module take out the hard disk put in your SSD and install Windows from scratch and doesn't matter if you if your customer wants to keep the data or if you are doing this yourself and you want to keep the data you'd normally clone the hard disk but the issue we've got here is some of the data is probably on this Optane SSD or flash memory so if you clone the hard disk it will potentially not have the most recent writes or uh, the most common read and written data because Optane uh, supposed to speed up the system by using the flash for the common things that are used or uh, lots of read and writes I think it is and then uh, stuff that's more stable it then puts onto the spinning hard disk and stuff that is least accessed or whatever it puts onto the spinning hard disk so it gives you the perception of the system having fast storage by having a small amount of fast storage and then a large amount of hard disk based storage what I will need to do before I can clone this drive is to actually boot it back up and use the Intel utility um, which should be already installed on the windows and then open in the taskbar uh, or system tray to disable Optane so that it switches off that module and flushes all of its changes over to the hard disk um, before I can then clone the hard disk so I'm going to have to do that now and I will, uh, I'll will i be back, stay tuned I'll be back after I've made that change ok, that's Optane disabled now we can extract the hard disk looks like there are three screws one to the left of the hard disk there, one between the two fans, and one to the right lower part of the hard disk. Should now 
be able to lift the hard disk out and being careful with this serial ATA connector here which is just on a little fly lead lift that up and gently unplug it there we go I'm now going to clone that drive and uh, the next thing will be me putting this all back together with the SSD in it if this video has already been helpful to you it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel you don't need to have the video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help um, but do stick around if you want to see me put the machine back together and turn it on again thank you very much finally this is cloned so all the data from that hard disk is now on this Samsung SSD and now I need to move the caddy over or this little um, holder needs to move over So there's four screws around the edge and the hard disk will drop out and put the SSD back into that. With difficulty apparently. Now we're ready to put this back into the connector and back into its bracket. Back into the serial ADA connector, drop it down onto where it was screwed in, and then there's the three screws that hold it into place. Now we're ready to put the cover back on it. So the same way we took it off, I'm going to start with the opposite, or the, the end with all the connectors, and push that side on first, making sure that all the USB and HDMI connectors are all lined up. Go around the lot clicking it down and then lots of screws to put back in
Now if we flip the machine over. Should start perfectly from the new SSD. Perfect and much much quicker to start up than it was uh, on the hard disk. Hopefully that video has been helpful to you. If it has, it'd be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much.